G'day viewers, hopefully I'll have Aidsy here on the weekend to do a TFU, but this Friday, let me just point out that nine years and 2,000 main channel videos ago, this happened. People are always asking, Mr. Angry, why are you so angry? And then honestly, a lot of other things happened, stuff that nine years ago, I seriously could not conceived of. And in case you can't work out what I'm saying, yes, I am uh, enjoying my ninth anniversary on YouTube. Nine years of making YouTube videos. And on my main channel, this will be the 2000th video. Which is strictly speaking not completely true. Because uh, some videos I've either uh, taken down or made private because they were relevant to specific times. And... Uh, it made no sense to keep them on the channel. Plus, I've put hundreds of videos on other channels. But arbitrarily, let's say, I managed, without even trying to plan it, to coincide nine years and 2,000 videos. And you'd think, after all that time, I'd have some wisdom to share with you. Okay, what have I learned in that time? I've learned my timing is really bad because a couple of times I've given up my day job uh, to focus on YouTube for 6 to 12 months and in retrospect, I missed my timing uh, from about 6 months to a year. I'm also extraordinarily bad at self-promotion. Uh, some people would say, and I would be one of these people would say, wow, uh, making stuff that got viewed more than 40 million times is crazy beyond anything you should have ever dared to hope. But you know, then there are people like, um, you know, when PewDiePie's got 30 or 40 million subscribers, however many he has, and there's people who, whose videos have been viewed billions of times and uh, they get millions of views a day. Uh, arguably, I should be jealous of those people. But the weird thing is, the enjoyment of creating content continues to be uh, fulfilling for me. Uh, call me crazy, but I enjoy doing this. And if there's one thing I've learned about YouTube, uh, it's basically like the, uh, the internet itself. Its strong point is exactly the same as its weak point. And uh, for me, the internet and YouTube is slightly different. For the internet, uh, its strong point is you're never alone. Uh, the weak point is you're never alone. And there are fucking people who should be alone, you know? Uh, if you uh, think Hitler was badly misjudged and uh, subterranean lizards rule the world, you will find people who agree with you. And that's probably a bad thing. But if you're not one of those fucked units, you will, no matter how fringe you are, you will find someone uh, who thinks similarly to you, which is a good thing. Now, in YouTube, I think the strength is the people. I also think the weakness is the people. I mean, honestly, YouTube is renowned for having some of the worst commenters on the internet, and it really is the pits. But... I would not give up for a second the people I've met on YouTube. Uh, and that's in Melbourne where I live. We have a thriving YouTube community where we regularly get together and we have awesome fun. I'm going to admit something now. I basically almost never hang out socially with people who aren't YouTubers. I can't relate to people who aren't YouTubers. I think... That could be a problem, but it's an awesome problem, and I enjoy it. Uh, obviously, uh, the comments can be full of assholes, but hey, you know what? There's a block button, which works sometimes. It's one of my favorite parts of YouTube. I mean, over the years on YouTube, yes, I still have a day job because I don't do self-marketing and self-promotion very well at all. Uh, so I don't earn a living off YouTube, uh, but my videos have been watched around the world, like I said, more than 40 million times. Uh, it's been on news programs around the world. 
Uh, one of my personal highlights was when one of my videos was used for English language classes in Japan. That's a real thing. So if you ever see any Japanese people who are good at swearing, it's possibly because I taught them. And uh, like the artwork I use in my videos was just made by people that I found through YouTube. The music that I use was made through people on YouTube. You know, and occasionally, yeah, I even get uh, like crazy bits like someone will do me an animation. You are totally fucked up! The thing is, particularly in the Melbourne community I hang out with, we treat each other as family. So for all the negative people, for all the detractors, for all the quite, frank, for quite frankly hateful comments you get on YouTube, the good people make all that negativity meaningless. So, uh, while I'll be honest, I would love it if I suddenly managed to work out how to market myself properly so I could make a full-time living from YouTube, so I could give up my day job, that would be awesome. But if that never happens, I feel like that will never stop me creating stuff for YouTube, working with the community of YouTube people, and just having a frigging awesome time because I enjoy this so much. Having an outlet. The fact that when I have a really shitty day, when I see something a politician or some brain dead person says in the media, and I think I can just switch my camera on and vent and like-minded people will go, yeah, thanks for saying what I was thinking. It's always going to be worthwhile. I think I said at virtually every milestone video I've made, if I could go back in time and tell myself what was going to happen, I would freak me out. Like if I could go back nine years and say, you are going to keep doing this regularly for nine years. You will create over 2000 pieces of original content in that time. It would freak me out. I would run screaming into the night. So, Thankfully, you, my YouTube friends and family, let me ignore reality because a reality is scary and we transcend that and I am going to continue to have a good time and I hope you continue to have a good time. And yeah, the whole self-marketing thing, which I'm bad at, if you like what I do, then uh, the single best thing you can do for me is share it. Use the social media. Look, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if YouTube isn't fucking things up, you'll be told when I create new videos, which is usually a couple times a week. But yeah, share it on social media. Say, hey, I find this guy entertaining. You probably will too. You should watch it. That's the single best thing you can do. Oh, no, it's the second best thing you do. The best thing you can do, if you ever run into me in real life, say hello. I've made so many friends through YouTube. I enjoy meeting people. I've met people around the world. Uh, I've interacted with people online around the world and I'm going to keep doing it because this is friggin' awesome as far as I'm concerned. And the reason I do it is because you're friggin' awesome. So yeah, if you like what I do, keep coming back and tell your friends about it. If you don't like what I do, what the fuck are you subjecting yourself to this for? Honestly, first, grow a fucking brain and stop watching something that you don't enjoy. Second, like I said, if you like it, I hope you share it. If you don't like it, I hope you get throat cancer and can't tell anyone you don't like it and you get leprosy and your fingers fall off before you can type a fucked comment. Because uh, honestly, you should just go off and rub yourself against a cheese grater if you're into self-abuse that much. Leave the sensible people alone and we're going to continue to have fun. I hope. I'm going to continue to have fun. I hope you keep coming back and having fun with me. Yeah, it's slightly hard to believe. Nine years, 2,000 videos. Let's see what we can do from here on out. <laughs>
just wanna go outside and feel the sunshine on your skin. I hear the sun shines brightest in good old Australia, and that's where I found him. The little man with a great big voice. He tells you get up and think freely. Make a fucking choice. He was an Australian. An angry Australian made me laugh and cut the time in half. You won't even make a year if you get careless and lose your mind. You might not be able to see the world, but it's still turning and burning Watching old episodes of Jersey Shore might be numb, but our brains won't thank us. Aussie, give me hope when my body's broke. I'm not a failure, more than any other fucked up wankers. The bitted man with the second life. Tells you to be independent Fuck the world and his wife He was an Australian An angry Australian Who made me think He was an alien way to feel An angry Australian Who made me think And got me back in sync And got me back in sync Nothing sometimes when I think about that dark place And I know the world can be safe with an angry face But if you knew me you'd be sure not to envy my face But we've all got masks to take off One of these days One of these days time in half and cut the time in half